Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Chang Hun Ho from Seoul National University in the Hospital. Today, I'm going to talk about the laser powered microjet injection for drug delivery. Uh, everybody knows the, what is a skin barrier. Uh, the skin barrier uh, made uh, looks like the brick and mortar structure. And it inhibits delivery of a substance, uh, especially hydrophilic substance, into the skin. So the problem is uh, we would like to uh, make, make a drug delivery through the skin. So it is not easy to make uh, any drugs uh, to deliver through the skin. So we would like to enhance the transdermal drug delivery. So this kind of a system is a transdermal drug delivery system, including structure-based and electrical-based and velocity-based uh, method. So there's a several the multiple injection techniques. So you can use it with manually or the mechanical like a mesogon, or you can use air and gas injection. So this is a comparison table of the mechanical injector and the air gas powder needleless injector and the laser powder needleless injector. That is the device that I would like to introduce to you. And the laser powder needle device, the speed is 40 shots per second. And we don't need any anesthesia. And the depth of the injection is superficial and the deep depth, deep depth according to the shot number and according to the, the diameter. And the, the volume is very precise, 0 0.3 microliter per shot. But it does not have any tissue digestion effect. And today I would like to show you the what is this device and how this device is made. And this device comprises of the main body and the handpiece. So this is the system. So this system is included with the main body of the laser and this handpiece. I will show you the history of Mirazet and how it can made and how it works. And this is the history of Mirage Nose. The system is developed from the Jack Yeo from, uh, in 2008. Uh, he is a professor of the SNU, Seoul National University, the Aero Engineering Department. And he started with a study with the laser can make, uh, can act as a syringe. And he published several journals. And the system is developed and made by JSK Bio. And uh, it developed much and much and adapted with each kind of laser. So JSK Biomed has uh, several patents, including the Korean patent and also US patent also. The laser power injection system is uh, uh, make uh, made like uh, just two room, uh, two room system. The upper room has uh, a water room and the lower room has uh, the drop reservoir. So between these two rooms, there's uh, some membrane. So the upper room, laser was focused on the upper room and uh, exploded. And with the pressure of the, that explosion, make a push down the uh, membrane and the uh, reservoir, uh, drug, uh, the drugs inside of the drug reservoir uh, was released with uh, the, because of the, this pressure. The speed is too fast. So when after the uh, explosion of the laser, about the 100 microsecond after, you can see microjet production. So we can test with the pig skin. So you can see here the ink delivery was uh, successfully uh, through the pig skin. And uh, we have a gelatin uh, test. You can see here that this beautiful, the uh, constant jack, uh, in injection is made. You can see here the mini pig test. You can uh, you can have uh, you can control the depth of the injection. So if you use the minimum minimum power, the injection is uh, the superficial depth, and uh, you can increase the power the injection depth might be increased. Uh, we have a test with the ultrasound image with the human skin. You can see here the 
the injection was made and this is the OCT image from the top view you can see here the fan shape injection is made we have tested the jet stability and you can see here the jet stability test we, uh, the uh, jet is continuously the stable stably made we have compared with the laser injector and the air injector you can see here with the laser injector the, this device uh, the injection is uh, constantly and the depth uh, can constantly made the depth but the, with air injector right side air injector side you can see here the depth is uh, not constant sometimes it is uh, deep enough and uh, sometimes it is uh, shallow enough and also if you compare the, with the diameter of the, the inlet diameter inlet is with the laser injector side is very beautiful and surrounded and with but the air injector uh, side you can see here the inlet is uh, the shirt we have checked the temperature because uh, uh, if you would like to deliver botulinum toxin or any kinds of uh, the protein the temperature a constant temperature many, uh, man, uh, management is uh, very important. So we have tested the te uh, drug reservoir temperature and uh, uh, every time we shot, so the temperature is always uh, constantly uh, uh, below 40 degree. So there's uh, two types of shots. The one, one, shot, uh, one type of shot is a moving shot, the other type is a st staking shot. Moving shot is a move and a slide uh, method, and uh, each shot is made uh, one side for one shot. But the staking shot, we if we do the staking shot, we uh, hold the uh, uh, the uh, this device and uh, make uh, several shot, maybe three to five shot per one side. This is a skin change after the injection. So we have if we tested the moving shot, uh, ten hertz. So you can see here a little bit tiny the wheel is made. But if we make a 40 hertz moving shot, the, this tiny wheel doesn't make. And if you do the moving shot, and if we, uh, we, can, we can see the, the change of the moving shot and sticking shot, this is a moving shot over 10 hertz. You can see a small wheel is made, but this is a sticking shot. So the fuel size is a little bit bigger. So that means more injection fluid can be injected into the skin. This is a downtime after the injection. So left side is the L injector side. You can see here very big fuel is made after the injection. But the right two picture is right after the injection and the uh, the day three, on day three of the injection. On day three, a little bit, a tiny blood clot can be seen, but the generally uh, it is uh, good. This is uh, my photo before and after, and uh, after the, the botulinum toxin injection, I was. So I have tested with the botulinum toxin. Uh, this is uh, the right side there. On the right side only, we have tested with the botulinum toxin and with the moving shot. You can see a right side on the day five, uh, day five. the right side of the uh, forehead wrinkle is diminished. So on the gravella area, I did the stacking shot. So this is uh, my, my picture, before and after picture. And you can see here, the gravella wrinkle is diminished after stacking shot. So the, here's another picture of the, uh, the prop, uh, Dr. So, and the, he do, uh, do many trials with the acne scar. This acne scar is uh, treated with PDLA. And uh, this is a before and after picture of the, uh, after three months after three treatment of P, PDLA, you can see here atrophic acne scar is improved after the uh, Mirajet injection. We have adapted to the OP scar. This is a before the office, uh, operation scar on the uh, eyebrow. This is a right after the uh, operation. This is a after the operation. You can see here the scar is diminished after the Mirage treatment. And we can adapt the skin booster uh, spraying technique. 
So you can inject the the uh, like a major uh, major gun, or uh, you can inject the pa patient face with a major gun or manual technique. But uh, we can make uh, some skin booster with a spraying technique. And this is after the picture. You can you can if you use the the whitening agent, you can see here the melasma can be improved. And you can see here another picture. The skin pigment is greatly improved. And you can see here the skin texture, skin pore also greatly improved with the skin booster treatment. You can see here, uh, you, can, uh, you can see the great improvement the skin texture and the pigmentation. And we also adapted the stria distensia treatment. You can see here, we can treat the patient with a stacking method or moving method or we can combine together. This is a before and after photo of the striatis. You can see it greatly improved with the three time treatment of, of the PDRA with the Mirazet. This is a leg, the uh, posterior leg. Uh, posterior leg. You can see here the white tissue striatis tendon also improved. This is a hip side striatis tendon. You can see here greatly improved and the white striatis tendon can be seen. So I have introduced this device for many times on the ISDS and ASDS and ASRMS. Thank you for your attention. And I show you how to treat the patient and I will show you the live demonstration. And I will show you the, how the mirage, mirage system is works. And uh, this is uh, the mirage nozzle. And uh, you can unpack the uh, mirage nozzle. And the pack is, uh, looks like this. And the mirage nozzle has uh, three types. The, according to the diameter of the nozzle, the 150 micro, uh, 150 micrometer and the 200 micrometer and the 250 micrometer, three types of nozzle exist. And I will uh, use uh, the 250 uh, micrometer size diameter uh, mirage nozzle today. And the, the nozzle is, looks like this one. You can see here, upper part is a water room and the lower part is a drop reservoir. Between these two rooms, there's a membrane. So the laser system is focused on the, this upper part and then explosion of the, this upper part of water makes some the pressure. This pressure pushes the membrane downward and the nozzle, uh, the, uh, the drop inside of this drop reservoir can push down. Here. And you can use this type of the uh, drug, any kinds of drug can be used. We have uh, tested with the PLA and uh, many kinds of the HA and also a uh, calcium filler also. And today I will show you with the uh, simple, the normal saline to how to use these kinds of the uh, mirage. And uh, when you install the syringe, and the, we usually use a low rock syringe. And uh, you can attach the, this low rock syringe with this. And then, if you push the syringe, you can see here, the drug is out. That means this drug reservoir is filled with this drug. And then, we can attach this to the laser handpiece. After we attach the, this tip to the, the handpiece, we should remove the airs inside of the, this drug reservoir and the syringe. So you should hold the uh, 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 handpiece to the upward and then make a shot. But the, before the make shot, you should make sure the power is maximum. Because if you make a uh, power maximum, it is easily to make uh, uh, the field uh, uh, drug reservoir easily. So hold the handpiece upward 
and then push the foot button. You can hear the sound is changing. So that means this drop reservoir is filled with this drop. So every air is go out and then you can reduce the power according to your treatment. So this patient is, has uh, some atrophic uh, acne scar. So I would like to treat him with a stacking shot. After dressing with the alcohol swab, and then, and then I will make the stacking shot on the atrophic scar region. You can see a pinpoint bleeding here, and then some small. Small heel is made here, like a white heel is made, and a small pinpoint bleeding here. I have treated him several times, but he's imp uh, he has a much improved acne scar, but uh, some pinpoint remaining acne scar here. Please turn down. Okay. And actually this patient, do, we do not have any anesthesia. But uh, sometimes if you can use the topical anesthetic cream, will be help to reduce the uh, tingling sensation. Okay. The treatment is very simple. And uh, if you attach, uh, touch the, the uh, hand piece onto the skin and just push the foot button and the, the jet is made like this one. Okay. So this patient has a little bit freckles on the, the cheek area. So I will use the uh, skin booster with uh, some depigmentation agent with uh, a moving technique. So we, I, I make uh, for 40 hertz uh, moving technique, and then you can see a very fast jet is made, and then clean the skin with the uh, alcohol swab, and then. The treatment is very simple. Just fastly move because it is a 40 hertz, uh, no cure is made. But the agent is uh, delivered into the skin, and uh, you can see the effect. Uh, any kinds of the, if you use it, uh, the whitening the agent, you can see the effect uh, within three to four weeks. The, after the injection, the skin shows a little bit the erythema here, but uh, there's uh, no bleeding or no downtime. If you would like to the, ensure the delivery of the, uh, any kinds of the injection solutions, the, you can repeatedly, in, uh, in, repeatedly the injection with uh, this mirror jet. The same spot with uh, this direction again, And then, now, if you today, uh, it is great honor to introduce you on the eAsia on this system. Thank you for your attention.